Hey everyone, it's Melly, and thank you so much for joining the third PIF video. I'm very excited to be with you guys today, and I hope you guys are doing all right over there. It's getting pretty warm, but regardless, it's still really nice to be out here and to talk to you guys about photography. So by now, I'm sure you guys are pros at picking your subject and focus and perspective, but let's take it to the next level and talk about composition. What is composition? Well, it means putting together. And today, we're going to put together our photo using me as the subject. Now, why is composition important? Well, back in the day, we had photographers exploring and taking beautiful pictures of our country's landscape. However, they had really expensive equipment and they had to pick, put together their photos carefully. And they brought these photos back to the United States government and this is how the national parks were established. That's really neat. And like I said, composition is what we're talking about today, but there's actually three parts that make up composition. And it is background, filling our frame, and deciding where our subject is. So let's start off with our background. I'm at this beautiful park, but as you can see our background right now, we can also see some houses and a trash can. And so maybe that's not where we want to have our background. Let's pick a different background. Let's go over here and remember that I am still the subject. And I kind of like this background better because we have this beautiful art piece here. Behind me is the desert and you can even see part of downtown Tucson. But can you tell what your subject is now? It's kind of hard to tell because there's so much going on here. So remember, as your subject, we want to make it easy to identify. So let's zoom in using our feet, and this is called filling your frame. So now that we've filled our frame, it's easy to tell what your subject is. The third piece of composition is placing your subject in interesting spots. For example, we can place our subject to the right, or we could place our subject a little further back toward the left. For this video, let's keep ourselves right in the middle. So with placing our subject, we actually have these tools on the cameras that help us out with that. And they're called grid lines. So when you guys are using the PIF cameras, there are grid lines that allow you to place your subject in different areas. Think of this as a giant tic-tac-toe, and this will help you get creative as to where you can place your subject. And there's a lot of options here. So as a recap, composition is picking a beautiful background, filling in our frame so that's easy to tell what our subject is, and it is placing our subject in interesting spots. You guys saw in this video how we were able to piece it all together. I hope you guys are able to go out and practice this. I look forward to seeing you guys for our next video and for our next trip. Thank you.